Hi, I'm Dorcas and I'm going to show you how to make a Facebook cover photo using Pixlr and we're going to use the new dimensions of 828 by 315. Remember it's always width first and then height second. So let's go. So I'm in pixlr.com which is a free resource Um, it's really cool and um, I'm going to open an image from my computer. So I have an image here ready. This image was taken um, by Adrian Redmond. I took the image from Flickr. And in case you're wondering, it is of uh, South Tipperary in Ireland. So here I am. And you can see the dimensions of this image are 2048 by 928. So the most important thing you need to know is that you need to start with a bigger image. You can't make a smaller image bigger because it'll go pixelated and grainy and it will lose quality. So we always need to start with a bigger image and then make, we can make it smaller. So first of all, I'm going to make this the right width and then I'm going to make it the right height. So I'm going to go to first of all image and then image size and then I'm going to write 828 because they're the new dimensions and you'll see as I type out 828 you'll see the height will change proportionally so 828 and then I'm going to hit OK and now you'll see the image is 828 and it's by 375 so my width is correct but my height is wrong so I'm just going to zoom in for myself by the way to zoom in you can just uh, you can type like this or you can see over here you can also use this zoom right here so i'm just going to put it at 100 percent and you can see i'm typing that out so now i need to get the right height and this time i'm going to use this marquee tool so the marquee tool is just here and you'll notice that as i click on the different tools you'll see this menu here changes for each one so on the marquee tool it has these settings so you can see when it's set on no restriction i can draw a box or a rectangular of any kind of um, dimensions I want. So I'm just doing that manually with my hand. Um, whereas this time I do care about the exact dimensions I get because on Facebook I need to get 828 by 315. So I'm going to change this to fixed size and then I'm going to write in 828, which is already there. And then I'm going to put in 315, which is my height. And now I'm going to, for example, just click here or maybe I might click here. And then I'm going to go to image and crop. And now I have the exact right dimensions for my Facebook cover. So cool. Now let's say, for example, I want to put in some text and let's say I'm going to click on the letter A or A down here. And then I just click where I want the text to go. And now let's say I'm going to um, use maybe a call to action. So let's say I'm going to keep this simple and let's say I'm going to go visit Ireland. Um, you'll see um, you can choose loads of different fonts here. I'm choosing this font because I think it's cool. And now I'm going to change the color. And the color, um, let's say if you want to make a really professional um, cover photo, you should always use the same hex colors as what you have in your logo or your branding. So um, I'm going to put in the hex colors, let's say for my logo, which are C01B3F. There you go. And then just hit OK. And then always make sure that your text is nice and big because remember, statistically, most people will be viewing this from mobile. So we don't want to have the text really small and we want to make sure it's big. So always err on the side of larger fonts. So say so I'm going to click OK. If I want to move this text around, I'm going to click on this move tool just here. And you can see the way I can just move it around. So let's say, for example, I want my text to go there. You'll notice I'm not putting it over here or over to the edges because on mobile, some of that, um, uh, some of the image will actually not appear. So I'm just going to put my text around the center. And you'll notice I have um, some red-ish text on a green-ish background. And green and red don't go together. So um, let's say... I want to put maybe a box in between the text and the background. And this is where Pixlr starts really coming into its own. This is one of the reasons why Photoshop is so popular. You'll notice this section over here, I have layers. And at the moment, I just have two layers. I have a background layer and then I have a text layer. So I'm going to add in a new layer. And you'll see when I click on this little icon here, a new layer appears. I'm just going to drag this box down so you can see it better. So now we've got three layers. And in the middle layer, of course, there's nothing on it yet, but there is an invisible layer in between my text and my background. So now I'm going to go back to my marquee tool. And this time 
I want to um, draw a box um, freestyle, let's say manually. So I'm going to change constraint to no restriction here. And then you can see the way I can draw a box any way I want. So I'm going to draw a box around my text. And then let's say I'm going to fill this with a color. So let's say now I'm going to fill it with a white color. And now I just, um, of course, I've chosen my color down here. And then with this paint bucket tool, I just click and then click inside my box. And now you'll see I have a white box here. So, and let's say this looks a little bit sort of thrown there. It doesn't look so pretty. So what I'm going to do is um, change the opacity. So opacity is how see-through something is. So for example, if I change the opacity to zero, it's uh, totally see-through. Whereas at 100, it's not see-through at all. So let's say, for example, I can change my opacity so that I'm getting the balance between the text being easy to read, but then also that it's kind of see-through. So it just looks a little bit more professional. So let's say, for example, um, I'm thinking that white box looks nice, but then I'm thinking mm, maybe a black box would have looked better. So what I can do is I can add in a new layer. So now I can, you can see I have my white box layer and then I have another layer and it's, and it's invisible. So this time I'm going to temporarily hide my white layer by just clicking this little tick in the box here. So it's still there, look, but I'm just hiding it temporarily. And now I'm making sure that I've clicked on the new layer and this time I want to make a um, black box. I'm just changing my color to black. I'm going to go to my marquee tool. Again, draw around my text. And now I'm going to fill this with my paint bucket tool. Again, let's um, just change the opacity to be maybe something like here. And now let's say I want to see, do I prefer this black box or the white box? So you can see the way I can just see which one I prefer. And then let's say, for example, if this is the one you prefer, then we're just going to save the image. So we save it on our computer by going to file, save, then save the image. That's it. Any questions? Let me know.